Hello, in this tutorial, we'll be going over the import process of a widget into Stream Elements and then into OBS. I'll be using a follow goal progress bar widget I created, but the process will be the same for any widget. This widget is for OBS and Twitch, so you should already have OBS installed as well as a Twitch account. One other account you'll need, which you may not have yet, is Stream Elements. So log in to your account if you have one, or create an account to be able to import the widget. Once you're logged in, in the left menu, you'll want to go down to Streaming Tools, Overlays, select New Overlay. The default 1080p resolution is OK. Hit Start. For the quickest and easiest installation of this widget, you can use the widget.io Chrome extension. Just install it and you should see in your stream elements this red HTML tag button. So this is where we'll need the code that was in the digital download. Head over to the Google Drive link that contains the zip file. Click the three dots to download the zip file. And this is what we'll be uploading with the widget IO extension. Click on the button, choose the zip file, open, and create widget, which should automatically import all the code you'll need. It usually auto sets the dimensions too small for this widget, so just drag on the blue outline to make it the size you need. If you weren't able to get the widget IO extension to work though, no worries, you can manually import the code. You'll just go to open editor and in each of these tabs, there's a corresponding file in the zip file, zip folder, and just copy paste the contents of each file into the corresponding tab. To import another widget, if you have a bundle that contains multiple, just follow the same process again. Select the zip file for the next widget, create widget, or do the manual process again of creating a new widget and adding the custom code by pasting the files. In this left menu is where you can customize your widgets. I won't be going over these options since they can be different for different widgets. And this tutorial is meant to just cover the import process and there will be separate videos for the options of your specific widget. Now we just need to import this into OBS so we can start using it. I'm going to just quickly name this widget so we can save it. Hit save. And to get the link you'll need to import, click this copy overlay URL. Head over to OBS. Under sources, you'll want to create a new source. This is a browser source. In the URL field, paste the URL you just copied. The width should be a little bit bigger than the width you had for the widget under your settings. So since it's still at the default 1000, I'll set the width to 1050. Height doesn't need to be that high, so I'll set it to 300. You can also always adjust this once it's already added to OBS. I'm going to click OK. And now you can see your widget. You can adjust the size. If you make a change in stream elements, you should see that reflected once you hit save. I'm just going to change a couple values. Hit save, and now you see the border color has changed. That's it. That's all you need to start using this widget. Any reviews left or credit links in your Twitch profile are super appreciated. Thanks and happy streaming.